started on saying. <laughs> Sorry, but anyway, this happens all the time. Um, do we have to do it again? I don't think so. We don't, no, have, we don't to. have to. Hi guys, welcome to the Unpopular Opinion. I'm Kemi, Prim, Claire, and we're real, raw, and, and we're, we're saying it all. Welcome back, you guys, to the Unpopular Opinion. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. It's Christmas. Can you believe it's Christmas? The best it's time Christmas. of the year. The very best time of the year. For me, what I feel like we blinked. And then and that's it's true. Christmas again. That's true. It's been a this whole year has gone by really fast. It's been a yeah. whole, whole year. Yeah. How, are you, how, how are you guys feeling about this year? I'm a little bit exhausted. <laughs> Little bit, yes. little bit. I'm I feel like you're, you're under, you're under. <laughs> yeah, the no, I'm exhausted physically. Yeah. yeah, I feel yeah. like I need that sleep of like one month. Yeah. I need it, and I don't know where I'm going to get it from. But yes, you are going to have to you. create some time too. I do, I do. After this, this like, like, yeah, yeah. I'm going to go into like isolation because November is also quite yeah. hectic. Mm. November, everyone is. It, November is hectic. <sighs> Trying to finish. Prim, how are you feeling this year? It's been my best year since, in my 32 years of life, eh? this has been my best year. Wow, that's, really nice. mm. that's fantastic. This has been my best year. Nice. My best year, like, I don't know, I wish I could, you know how people like want the year to go by and we move on to, yeah. I wish I could hold on to it forever. Huh, maybe next year is going to be even better. I, I pray, if next year is better, if the years to come are better than this, then I cannot imagine. Wait for life. <laughs> because for me, this year has been mind blowing. Well, that's good. Yeah. That's beginning. good for you. Yeah. you? Like, I, I, it's, I it's been amazing. Had the most challenging and yet rewarding year mm. it's it's a, it's an oxymoron i get it mm. but <laughs> it's been challenging yeah. and um extremely rewarding on both extremely on personal life mm. career wise i've grown as a person mm. i have bro been broken as a mm. person you know, I, ish, career wise, though, doing mm. really, really well. Yeah, maybe you're, um, you're trailblazing, ladies. Mm. You're trailblazing, <laughs> and I love it. I'm, I'm, I'm very, very happy about like where we are, where mm. we're going this yeah. year. I remember last year I said it was hard, yeah? This mm. year was hard pro max. Mm. Like, I was upgraded to hard, but mm. in that, that hardship, I realize now that I've learned mm. a lot and I've grown through mm. it. Yeah. But, you know, in my, personal life and in my friendships in my marriage in my career it's just been really really challenging and i'm so glad to be here i'm, I'm really really happy we made it this end far yeah we've made it this far so good and things yeah good it really things is. Is. so um guys we're just going to do our favorite things episode share with you some of the things that we have really been enjoying this year um i think a, a lot of the, anyway, let me not say a lot of them are this or that a lot of them are things we love they're all just things we really love and we thought as the year is winding down would say here you go this is the stuff i love but also actually now that we're recording this episode this is a few weeks after we won our award our yeah. award thank you guys yeah <laughs> thank you so much for voting like thank you for but i was very surprised you know i was very surprised mm. i was very surprised i wasn't i didn't expect anything i swear i was i didn't wasn't. expect I was like, it okay yeah i know that we are doing our thing and we're doing it mm. and there were other really great people in those categories yeah that's true like, that's the thing there was such we were nominated in a very tight category like mm. i remember seeing those categories and i was just like <gasps> sleep sleep just do you. Not, yeah like thank you so much for nominating us alongside these great people but like no expectations there i i knew i i knew we would get at least one award we, i did i knew i didn't i didn't expect anything i that's why i dressed that's why i spent eight hundred thousand on a dress you think i'd spend eight hundred thousand on a dress wanted to look no good. no dear no dear i don't look good just for <laughs> I can, I can look good, but I won't spend I eight hundred thousand. I was thousand. in shock when I, I saw a video. I spent like a million that for just my me that mm. entire weekend. Mm. I spent a lot of money, but because I knew I was going to win at least really? one uh, award. Shook it. I wasn't sure. <laughs> thank, thank you so much, guys, for voting. <laughs> thank you, thank you, guys, for thank supporting. Thank you. We've like, we've even watched. before we started, uh, Prim was saying how she met people in Rwanda who are familiar with our show. We keep meeting yeah. you guys and it's it's really bumpy It's humbling. insane. You guys are like, we watch you every week. I'm like, yeah. really? And and, really? and we were saying, fun fact, we are more recognized for this show than that, our that individual else, platforms. Yes, that's true. Yeah, Anything that's else. True. Every time I meet people, where is Prim and Claire? Yeah. Like, I don't live with them. I don't know. <laughs> But I get it. Everybody says we're screen together every week. Yeah, it feels so like we're together all, all the, time. the time. All the time. That's so, true. But thank you, guys. I've digressed, but I, I thought it would be nice to just say thank you for 
supporting our content yeah. even have Thank been, you. like you allowed us to add award winning on yeah. our Instagram. I know, right? <laughs> right? <laughs> oh, anyway. I should go and edit my bio. Anyway. Award winning uh, content creator. Thanks. <laughs> So, um, okay, so back to our favorite things. Actually, now that we're talking about the awards, I think the first thing I'll talk about is Shushu. Eh, Shushu and Co has dressed me in some really beautiful things. They really have. But that gown that they did for me for the awards mm. show, that I was don't amazing. know. That it was, was Kelly Rowland. Really, really, uh, featuring me. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> but it was gorgeous. I love I love a Ugandan brand that's doing quality yeah. stuff. Yeah. I don't like these things where we'll be saying, oh, I can only get quality stuff mm. if you're from abroad. It's yeah. nice to see Ugandan brands making the effort mm. to True. just make like nice things. Mm. So shout out to, to, to Shushu and Co. Check them out. It's not Chow Chow. It's not Choo Choo. <laughs> it's Shushu. And they're just beautiful. Beautiful. I remember there's a pair of pants I bought. Every time I... You know, do you know those yellow... Pants mm, of mine. Mm, yeah. Mm. Every time I wear them, people stop me and say, "These are very nice pants." Shushu and Co. So, I don't know. Can't recommend them enough. I love <laughs> that everything is finished well. You yeah. Know, mm. so they have mm. very the good detail. Finishing. Like inside, yeah. also mm. looks good. Yeah. Mm. Yes. They don't hide from yeah. behind inside. <laughs> They're not tucking, tucking in things. The yeah. Inside things really also good. Also look nice, like the outside things. So I love it. Mm. Love it for us. Love it. How about you, Prim? Uh, I think for me, the thing that I'm so much excited about this year is. Um, Happiness. I'm, happiness, you guys. <laughs> I swear. Thing. That's it. Shout that's out to happiness. I, I, you know, because, you know, when this year started, mm -hmm. I, I didn't have a lot of expectations. And I even shared it. I was like, I don't have expectations of this year. I'm just vibing of whatever comes, comes, whatever, mm -hmm. you know. I think that's why I was mind blown. You get, And I'm even saying this um, with DK in mind. You guys know, as we shoot this, we film this episode, DK is in, you know, Rwanda. Rwanda. And you keep seeing her videos. You guys, I look at her videos with a wide smile on, her, on my face. Because I'm like, look at you you get yeah she's so happy. happy and i get it i get it so when i was starting this year i swear to god i didn't expect anything and if you I had remember told you me, saying that yes if you had told me that you know i'd be seated here feeling this content and happy and you know like probably a few months down the road i don't think i would have believed you i would have just be like okay all right you know but I am so excited and I'm so happy for where this year like has, it has given me so much fulfillment. Mm -hmm. When I say happiness, it could mean the smile, but there's a lot of ful fulfillment. Within. And within. Peace. Yes, peace mm -hmm. and content. And could, like, I will find that there are so many things that I, I don't go into battle for. Yeah. I, I love how, you know, the thing of the universe conspires yes. to, to, like, look how everything smiles for you. Look how everything conspires to to make you happy. Mm. I feel like the universe has conspired. Everything has worked together this year. For the good. Yeah. good. That's good. This year. That's really nice. That's really nice. It's encouraging considering how the year started. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Um, so for me, I'd say the thing is I am really, really, really celebrating, I've really enjoyed, is the keto clinic. Mm. The keto clinic is, if you've noticed, I've lost quite a lot of weight, mm. you have. Um, a lot of inches on the waist. I don't know how many kilos, that's the truth. I literally mm. told them, I don't want to know mm. how much I weigh. It's none mm. of my business. I really don't care how much mm. I weigh. Yeah. What my goal was is to feel good. Yeah. And to, I'm, I still look in the mirror. However big I am, the truth is, I look in the mirror and I like what I see. Mm. I really do. For you, sis. You know, I've never been anywhere and be like, yeah, I don't look nice. Mm. I've always looked nice. Mm. But my thing was, I had, when I started this year, I was the biggest mm. I have ever been. Mm. And I only got bigger and bigger and bigger. And I just wasn't feeling great emotionally um, and within. You know how you can just feel heavy yes. mm. and tired all the time, have no energy. The exhaustion. The exhaustion. The exhaustion. Like, mm. I mean, just walking from here to there is such such a, and then I'll get anxiety, mm. you know, thinking my heart is going to explode at yeah. one point. When you get flu, <laughs> you're like, this, exactly. is, this, this is, is how it. I go, I'm going to die, yeah. you know? So that, it, it was too, really took my peace away, really, really took my yeah. peace away. Yeah. And for me, I've tried different diets, I've tried different things, mm -hmm. and the best diet, the most effective for me, I've been dieting since I was mm. 13 years old. Mm. That's a long time, dude. Since I was 13 years yeah. old, I've been fat, mm. you know? I, people have been telling me I'm fat. And then when I look back at like, when I, how yes. I was fat like four years ago, I'm like, I want to be fat like I was fat then. Like, take me back. Do you know what I mean? And for me, it's not even the way I look because mm. I've always liked the way I look. It's the way I feel. Mm. Yeah. You know, I need to be able to climb up a, 
a flight of stairs yeah. without it. <laughs> you see, it's those little things. Uh, mm, people exactly. think that weight loss or weight, you know, mm. is about aesthetics. It's about, oh, it's I want not. to look good in clothes. No, it's the fact that you can't do those little yes. things. It's those mm -hmm. small things. I'd yeah. wake up, I'd eat, I'd go to bed. Um, I've eaten supper and then I'd wake up and the supper feels like it's still in my stomach and, mm. uh, and my stomach feels heavy and big and just mm. you, there. You, just feel you know, you just the quality constantly. Of changes, you know, exactly. Eh? Mm. exactly. You my back was also deeply. really, really sore. Mm. Now it's still sore, but it's better. still it's much better. Much better. It's much better. Mm. I feel so much lighter. And um, I've, as I said, I've, I know a lot of people don't mm. don't ad agree with the. Keto? Yes, the keto. But for me, it's what worked. I tr mm -hmm. I've tried different ones and they worked, mm -hmm. but f the, the results were not that significant. Mm -hmm. And because, and they were not that, for me, I just wanted to get something that will give me a significant result. Mm -hmm. And then I can learn to maintain. While, yeah. And by the way, I have been teaching myself self Self control Contra. because I'm an emotional eater, and many of us, especially when you see a so big person, are, chances are so many yeah, of us that they are. eat emotionally. Yeah. Yeah. You, when you see a big person, you feel bad, you eat, right? Mm -hmm. Then um, you feel bad that you've eaten ice eating. cream or a burger, mm -hmm. and then you're like, let me just you know, more. add more okay. just and just better. hate myself more. more. Like, let me just finish yeah. this completely. So, um, I, I always say, telling people, big people that they're fat, it does not help them. Mm -hmm. That they're going to go you home and it's positive eat another tub of exactly. ice cream. So I'd look myself in the mirror and I'd be like, "But when am I ever going to lose all this weight? Mm -hmm. It's going to take me three years. Mm -hmm. You get of absolute dedication. But you see, which you, I don't have time for that level years, of dedication. It also took you years to, to gain it. It, it took yes, you years to gain, gain it. That's it. one thing I tell myself that it's taken me years to gain this weight. So it it's okay. It's going to, to take me a while. Yes. and. The thing that all this teaches you is the discipline, the discipline mm -hmm. that applies everywhere else in, in your life. life. Yeah. In life. In, in, in your life, entire exactly. life. Bit finances, mm. bit. Yeah. And once you cut that discipline, so the keto, keto clinic, now it's, mm. it's a difficult diet. Mm. Yeah. It really is. But for me, why I love it and why I keep sticking to it, every time I'm like, you know what, fuck this. I am mm. done. Mm. You know, every I've told Philip I'm calling Roger today and tell him to stop giving me his mm. food. I'm tired. And then the next day I look at myself in the mirror and I'm legit visibly mm. smaller. Mm. You get what I mean? And for some reason that has been very it has helped me mm. when I go to functions, I don't eat. Mm. You, I eat the casual food that I've I brought I bring my cut up away. Yeah. <laughs> and things like that. So it's really, really it really has helped me um mm. um gain confidence as well. I know I'm confident, but mm. even more confidence just helps me. Yeah, it's uh, so the keto clinic, you're doing the Lord's work for us women who have failed to lose weight in any other way. I don't have time for exercise. When will I get time for exercise? But, you make that but time. you will I make will, that But now time. I do. I go, I go, up, I go for a walk time. with Philip and Kizzy every day, you know, so because you I want to, those results. Eh? Yes, but now, but if it's deep before, uh -huh. it's hard. But also it's it feels like harder. when you're, when you're heavy, it's so hard to exercise. I don't yeah. know if you know. Most times your legs are paining, your yeah. feet. Yeah. But when you have that car, it's a car starter of, okay, yeah. here is, some help you can now start from there yeah. you understand you find that when you sh obviously the more you go the more you know cages come off the more you are able to exercise and also enjoy yeah. it yeah. and so, you know what another thing i loved about the keto is that the keto clinic is that they send you the food mm. yeah me who's not a cook who, who doesn't like anything to do with the kitchen mm. i don't have to deal with cooking food i get the food every morning mm. breakfast lunch dinner Every single day for the last two and a half months, I have received my food. So for me, that has just made losing weight so much easier. But you're, it's showing that you feel good. Like, yeah. you were just, yeah. like you just, you're feeling yourself. Yeah. And it's really, really showing. Yeah. The way you're dressing, the way you, it's coming. I'm right? wearing heels. I haven't worn heels in like a decade. <laughs> I think what, yeah. I, what I really hope for you is just sustainability. Yeah. Mm. Like every time I think even we've had that discussion, what I hope for you is sustain a sustainable way to live. Mm. Yeah. I think that's why people fear diets usually because mm. sometimes they find that they do it and, and they, they backtrack. Yeah. So it's yeah. just finding your sustainable something mm. that yeah. works for Claire for a long time. Yeah. Um, but anyway, I guess picking up on the wellness mm. 
Ka thing, um, I think that some of the, the wellness things that I've really, really enjoyed mm. this year is, uh, let me see, Coach Rosanne, because she, she's such a preacher of sustainable yeah. stuff. Coach, I, that's a mind um, plan, by the way. She's just the diet. so, I love how she teaches about nutrition and what mm. it's not deprive yourself, it's not what, it's let's build something that can work for you mm. forever, for the long term, mm. and you be just a healthy person in this mm. life. So I've been, because even her newsletters, me, I really enjoy them. Every time they come, I, I read, read them. them. I say, huh, today what are we learning about? Is it water? Man. Good. We are reading the yeah, newsletter. The day she sent about had water, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> had someone told me about nutritionists before, I think mm. I'd have laughed them off. Mm. But you now can, you see people? how important they oh are. They are the lifeline of this world these days. Because we eat rubbish. When you understand food, when you understand what food does to your body, your gut. <laughs> Your, your gut, gut your the brain. way your gut is important to your it body, your brain, your, your gut, everything, your feelings, your yes. mental health. You guys, you guys. Now I finally understand people who do that whole healing through food. It's very important. Like, <laughs> you saw it before you yes, laughed. Like, you know, it's very important. Yes. Like, this is a yes. past 30 years. It's an actual thing. It's an actual like, thing. Like, your gut it shows. Really tells you, like, it's telling you, my am Excuse me. You don't even hear it grumbling. You insist. You hear it grumbling. You feel as if And you're like, like, don't you tell us. Those things are for white people. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. As Africans are getting it, you guys. Did you see the time I was talking on my sharing on my stories that because I now eat, um, a lot of protein, much more protein than mm. other f and than other carbs things. and other things. My hair started growing very fast. Mm. My nails started growing very fast. Like I used to like where am I in the salon every like say two weeks? Where am to I going to cut off my eh? nails to mm -hmm. cut off my hair and then to cut off my nails? So at first I was like the salon I'm going to has a problem. My nails are doing something. <laughs> I'm like, let me change salons, friends. Same thing. Yes. Like but me who has ingrown toenails, I that's what created awareness of how is it that I'm coming back every two weeks? But then I later realized Oh my God! I said, you know the thing. I said, let me first Google. Mm. Do proteins in any way make hair and nails and grow? Do. And I saw it. I it was does. like, because I said like, I used to beg my hair to grow. Now that it's shorter and I want it to stay short, it's growing really <laughs> fast. Lord. I have yeah. to go to the yeah. salon all the time. <laughs> this stuff affects. I had a moment. Mind. I had a moment. You guys were saying, I said, what? Like you mean the solution was food all mm -hmm. along? Like it's wild. Like food affects. Yeah. Absolutely. I was busy everything. buying hair products. Mm. Going to Kumbe, all you had to do was eat change, more chicken. Change different. <laughs> okay. Our bodies are actually like a whole yeah. system, and mm. if you can't figure it out, just get help. Yeah, get help so that you're not in this endless cycle of confusion and not mm. doing the right stuff. Mm. Um, but speaking of, as I can, let me just talk about the wellness things. Mm. Kosher Zan, and then also in just trying to improve my eating. And, mm. and I feel like sometimes people think, oh, when well, you talk about what weight and what, that it only applies to bigger girls. But lots of small, quote unquote, smaller girls mm. are actually very unhealthy mm. um, and are struggling with different, different things that you can't see on the surface. So for me, man, my gut health, I was like, I can't keep playing with my gut health. Mm. It would really affect how I feel. Those things of you eat over what at what You feel time. stuffed. Then in the morning, you feel sick. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Kind of sick. Mm. Yeah. Put this, what is affecting my stomach like this? How can I, like, do better? Yeah, up. yeah. Just yeah. Level so that up I can wake up feeling fresh and nice. You know, so I've been really enjoying, I mean, again, Ugandan brands are really doing the most. Mm. Hungry Lulu Granola. <laughs> it's me, the ambassador. I have talked about Hungry Lulu. I about start carrying them. You're making me, you're going to make me buy it today. I'm just going to be moving with it like this. You guys, that is the freshest granola. And if you don't believe me, ask DK. DK says it's the best plug I've ever given yeah. in my And life. by the way, DK, when, when DK, DK says food, yeah. food, our food is good, it is good. She, she threw away some other granola thing she had yes. when it was still, and she was like, yeah. out, out the door. Mm. They have such fresh ingredients. Mm. They have, it's so intense. For me, I think what told me is when you so told me that they have a lab, where they will go and research it's and put jokes. in time and like, I, I, was like okay, I want someone to care for my health like it's that. It's so serious. Payal, mm. no, not Payal, she's actually a biofood scientist. Mm. I may be saying that. When badly, you say that, yes. But she, like, they have real put love mm. and effort into, into that. Mm. Creating the, the product. product. Mm. Do you know what? We love Ugandan mm. products that do what they say they do. Do you know? I it's love just... it. I'm, I'm obsessed with them. I eat that stuff almost every day. Whatever I'm spending my money on is that. I'm now working for Hungry Lulu. Hungry Thank Lulu. Thank you so much. Make this. <laughs> you that I work for. Thanks so much. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's the gift I'm going to be giving you at Christmas. <laughs> you should sure. give it to me because I really want to get on it. <laughs> what else has made you? What, what are you loving this year? Um, I think for me, uh, podcasts really. Podcasts. <laughs> 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 
you guys we were love talking podcasts. about so this is love by jules i want you to like i i hope someone gets this clip and sends it to her right. you're a genius yeah oh i know brilliant. that as a creative i'm not even going to take away from the fact that as a creative there are days you will doubt yourself mm -hmm. but i hope jules even on your last day on earth you know just how much impact you put out in the world. You are a genius. Oh you goodness. are a creative. You're brilliant. And thank you so much for that podcast. Thank you for It's Related, I promise. Thank you so much. for. So this is love. Thank you. Yeah. And Lovely. Lydia, you know, when Lydia hosted Lydia. her on this other last episode, I, I feel like, you know, Lydia and I have never, like, we, we've only talked when we meet groups, and, like, like in groups. groups. But never but one on that, one. That, when, she host, she, when she was the one who did the hosting mm. of Jules mm -hmm. on, you should catch that episode. She was because the perfect person. She was the perfect person. No, but, like, you know, just, I feel like Lydia. I think I experienced Lydia in ways I've never experienced. I feel like before. Lydia is literally carrying the whole of Africa and all her emotional baggage <laughs> on her back. <laughs> She is healing oh. Africa one person at a no. time. <laughs> like I had a moment where the mm. questions she would ask and I stopped and I'm like, I think I've never, under, I've never like, and I've never felt Lydia like, I've never understood her like I did in that yeah. way. Like I feel like now I look and at now her I want so to much watch respect. That I haven't watched, I haven't you, listened to You should listen to it. Actually, just listen to the entire podcast. Just listen what to the entire podcast. podcast. What a beautiful. It's those things of I being in the car and I'm like this. Uh -huh. It's like you're watching TV, TV. And, then I'm, and then I'm like, and then I'm like, who do I call? Who do I call? <laughs> do you know? Feel so seen, like you feel seen. You feel Lydia, hard. you feel. I Jules, feel so many things. Lydia and all the women that there's a podcast called "To My Sisterhood." Mm -hmm. to, to to the My Sisterhood podcast. I, I hope mm. I'm saying it the right way. Uh, some two ladies in the UK. Mm. Another beautiful mind evoking podcast that I know everyone should be listening to. So I am so grateful to all mm. the women that do podcasting, to all the women that are yeah. in this space and sharing their stories and, and you know, you get behind those mics and you share yourselves and your lives. Oh my goodness. Thank you. Thank you for healing it's us. Thank special. you for yeah. validating each and yeah, every one of us. It's, it's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think my next one is Sentonomy. Mm. Mm. Friends, if you're in business mm. or if you want to grow financially, Sentonomy is your plug. Mm -hmm. And tie the business coach. Mm. You people, I have learned so much mm. from Sentonomy. So much. Like um, just the other week, um, we had a class. Mm. And I realized most 90% of businesses I know are running not they're not profitable they're running at a loss and they don't even know mm. it mm -hmm. you get i i was mind blown mm -hmm. i was mind blown particularly mind blown and if you want to grow one thing i've learned this year i'm all about investments and growing my finances and growing my business and just growing my money yeah and I've no, I've, 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 um, talking about podcasts, the, 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 oh, the founder of Sentonomy, she's a woman, mm -hmm. she's a Kenyan lady, Wancheke, and she has a beautiful podcast, very short episodes mm -hmm. that are very targeted okay. at things specifically that we go through as mm -hmm. business women. Now, me, I, that's a podcast I listen to, mm -hmm. more than one of emotions and mm -hmm. all those things. I think I'll get there maybe, but <laughs> I'm more about the bag than the ha mm. these days i just i don't know i just prefer things that are more practical mm. and in a um, uh, financial way anyway so if you have not do not know saint onomi and you're a business person or you even if you have a job and you have a career and you don't know how to build financial wealth mm. you don't know how to build wealth saint onomi is your plug you guys i am enjoying you know, and I've heard um, Julia and Sharon Mashira talking mm. about Sentonomy. I was like, mm. Mm. I need to play. Yeah. break it down. Flavia. Like the what? lesson. Flavia, I think, worked with Flavia him. Flavia worked with him, mm. yes. But the lesson they had to tap in. was so detailed. Is it a but so podcast? simple. It a... No, they, so this, one checker has a, the, the founder has a podcast. Mm. But then they also have online like classes, courses. courses. Okay. Mm. You guys. Friends, I, when I tell you. I, my hair, the hair on my body just stood up mm. like this. Mm. I was mind blown at how simple mm. business is not hard. Mm. It's just that we don't know what to do. So yeah. you seek out people who know mm. what yeah. to do. Now, Wancheke is much, much, mm. has been in the business much longer. So mm. obviously now me who has been in 
yes, I've been in long, but not yeah. definitely as not half yeah. as long as her. Um, so these are the kind of women I look up to, mm. you know, these are the kind of people I look up to. And the CEO gave us a wonderful co class mm. and I was mind blown. So if you're running a business and you're mm. running on losses and you do mm. not know how to grow and mm -hmm. things like that, a hundred percent sent on me. They have they, two how courses. How do they sign up? Where do they find it? They have two courses. Go on to their, their Facebook, their Instagram page. Mm. That's where I, I learned mm. about them mm. on Instagram. They probably have a, they have a website mm. as well. Mm -hmm. But just search for Centonomy. Mm. There's a one on one. There's one on one. Centonomy mm. one on one, which is personal mm. finance. Mm. How to grow? You make your five hundred thousand. How mm. to how do you build wealth from mm. your, that little money? Mm. Okay. And then there's one for entrepreneurs. Mm. So for specifically, if you have a business, mm. both highly recommend. Mm for both mm. one or both so mm. if you if you don't have a business go for the personal mm. finance mm. one and if you have a business do both mm. i ah there's nothing better in my life this one, year one, one, one. yeah um it's Good brilliant guys i 100 percent recommend it thank you thank you thank you thank you because yeah where I am now. right Fine. that's right. the thing right. and i think this time last year mm. i look i when i look back last year mm. this year so far, mm. but also because of the help of St. Mm. I knew where, mm. I know how to make money. That's the easiest thing in this mm. world for me is mm. to make money. And for many people, mm. if you have a business, you know how to make money. Mm. The problem is how to make it grow yeah. Yeah. is usually yeah. Yeah. the problem. The problem. How to make money. Yeah. You, if you have a job, to, you make money. Yeah, because, yeah, that's true. There you that's go. true. So St. Yeah. Tonomi, mm. they don't leave everything else you've ever had mm. in your life mm. and go for St. Tonomi. Thank okay. you. Thank yeah. you for sharing that. Yeah. yeah. We need it. I will need it. Personally. Me too. Yeah. I, I mean, I'm adding, all, like, I've been tapping into all those places mm, yeah, because by me, mm. money, mm. I it's... recognize that's not my strength in this world. I need to learn. Um, another thing that I have been loving this year, which I sing day and night, and already you're bored, but we shall continue, is Risa Naturals because I don't know who loves, <laughs> I don't know who loves Okwe Siga like me. Okwe Siga for Probably international like audience. Okwe Siga. <laughs> I mean, <It's>, Fiona. <laughs> For international audience, Okwe Siga is okay, like buttering, buttering yourself. <laughs> I love it. I, I always remember, like, always just it's the one thing that I feel I'm truly connected with your with body, my mom. Mm. no, with my mom. Because I still remember, like, when we were growing up, she'd always say, Oh, come oil my back. What so, and those people from mm, up to so, Risa Naturals just for me, you serve me in your, mm. in your ways. It's just so like you know, products which make you feel like proud of Uganda. Mm. Yeah. Like the things are well packaged. Yeah. The quality is really, really good. Mm. Everything smells nice. As a person who is very sensitive to scents, mm. I'm not really a perfume mm. person. I don't even hear by the way, you guys, I try to get things that are not too not scented. scented yeah. yeah. So the way their stuff is scented is just right. It's mm. not too, uh, I don't know. As a dry skin girly as well, mm. the, who was I talking to recently? Brenda of Nail mm. Pro, she mm. has really dry skin as well. Mm. And we were saying how the scrub, mm. you scrub yourself and you don't feel that that the, the yeah. dryness that dry yeah, like, like you are no, malnourished yeah like the skin is parched <laughs> mm. honestly Risa Naturals <laughs> love it I'm always enjoying oh and they finally made a car oil that has those boot shimmers mm. that make you mm. <laughs> so guys that as you're asking you me what's happening body, well, no. <laughs> it's that oil they, they have like a Christmas collection yeah. she's so mm. creative but the Ugandans mm. are creative they, they are, are they, they are, are creative. every season like new things for us it's christmas surprise yeah. it's easter no, and you guys i kid you not she's like you she will have planned for them like six months ago <laughs> and she's like you're working on the christmas catalog mm. and it's, it's already march mm. it's march and she's finished like, i'm like your claire's friend <laughs> connect <laughs> i can't but yeah. i love it i've been i've enjoyed them for years now and i'll continue to mm. support them said. yeah <laughs> um, i think for me it's uh first of all um this uh, today mm -hmm. sitting here i closed I, I i wanted to i'm grateful for brands mm -hmm. brands that are working with content creators i know that last year yeah. last year we were not that we are, we were not there you understand so i closed off on i bought land finally from content creation solidly friends like last i think last week on tuesday Last week on you Tuesday, finished. I finished my payment, yeah, and I can so. confidently say that this content brand paid this, this brand has. paid that, this brand paid that. So content creation has yeah. finally paid off, and I like that brands are waking up 
to what influencers can do. Mm. If you notice, I think each of us this year has had a lot of brand collaborations, a lot of other influencers that um, have also had other brand, brand co collaborations. collaborations. Both yeah. local and yeah, international. Yeah, both local and like, yeah, you see, you keep seeing influencers, you're like, okay, you're like, okay, I can tell that, say, Daisy is working with so and so, well done, I can mm. tell that uh, Lisa is working with so and so, okay, that's cool, or oh, look at Georgina, she's pushing this, good for them, you understand? Yeah. You're like, oh, Lucy is working with da, da, da. good for them, like, I like that brands are coming on board finally, yeah. and we are all, and they're, you know, like, we're all coming and you know we are respecting one another brands are probably starting to see that you know what we can't do what influencers do mm. influencers are also recognizing that you know what we we don't we're not bringing what brands are bringing on the table yeah. so we're all just you know working, working together. together yes it's no longer such a flex it's now. no longer such kind a flex yes it's yes people are also starting to understand what influencer yeah. marketing yeah. is about in our country in yeah. uganda yeah because before it was very look at this country look at this country this thriving da, 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 like that and personally i just like to give a shout out to my manager janet you're amazing you're a genius Janet is so when 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 you talked about centonomy, uh, now I can finally think of okay how to how to you know use my money and stuff because mm -hmm. um, before I didn't have that money. Yeah. Like where is now, the money? Now yes, where's the money to work, yes, on? Money to work on? Learn how to make a Janet, work with money Janet you don't is have. getting me. <laughs> yeah, Janet is getting me there. I am yeah. so she's one of the things the best decision I made for myself this year when it comes yeah. to when janet talks about me guys when i sit back and i see an email janet has sent to a brand eh, exactly. of this girl the way to the prim is over the best one and i'm like is that me janet, <laughs> janet is that me who are you talking about so janet mugume you're the real mvp and i'm very grateful that um i met you this year so yeah. i'm really grateful to brands grateful to, to you know like collaborations that mm, we've had in the yeah. industry and and that yeah and that growth that where the industry is headed yeah. good things yeah. Do you know what is inspiring me so mm -hmm. much at the moment is I built a community of women that are starting or somewhere along their way in business, small mm -hmm. businesses. Mm -hmm. These women are inspiring me. Mm -hmm. They truly are. If you are watching this and you're a member of the, the Boss Babe, the Boss Babe Millionaire Society, mm -hmm. kindly comment in the. Just give me a shout out in the comments so I know who you are. You guys are doing amazing. Do you know, and. I think this is the difference between the women that become successful and the ones that don't. It's just that decision that, mm. listen, come what may, sunshine, mm. and seeing it happen. Yeah. It happened with me, mm. but seeing it happen with other women. Mm. Friends, there's nothing I'm more passionate about than bringing up the woman, the mm. girl child, mm. and seeing you know seeing women grow and it just makes me like they come my and tell life you that I'm, i now make this much in sales. girl I make this much I, in sales. you know and all it's it beautiful. takes mm. like from i do the smallest part the only part is i say okay you go here avoid mm. there go there that's all i do yeah the walking and the big part is mm. on you guys yeah. and you make me so proud to yeah. be a woman. You make it so beautiful. So that, journey, that you wake up and so do worth this. It, yeah. You know, and I, I, if I haven't done something for my, my community, mm. I wake up at three o'clock and I will do it. Mm. Because I know these women, um, they, they, you guys are doing amazing. Yeah. You're doing amazing. You're inspiring me. Mm. You get me up out of bed every mm. single day. And that, and I feel like, you know, when we, we've, women have been put against each other. We've, yeah. put each, we've been against each other for too, too, too long. Yeah. And it's about time. And I say this to my staff as well um, at the school, that you don't have to like me. Yeah. You don't actually like to have hung out with me. You don't need to like me, but we're working together. So we need to grow mm. you know and for me when i see women put aside the differences because fear if you're small and i'm big that difference is going to divide us because i'm going to pick up the fact that you're too small and you're going to pick up the fact that i'm too big prim i'm going to say your hair you're going to say your feet and you know that clothes are too there's so many things that women always like to pick pick, apart, pick yeah. each other apart about mm -hmm. very trivial things mm -hmm. However, these women in the society, I'm just, they, it's just a beautiful, there's no Lugambo, you people, me, I don't, I, you know, you guys, like, I can't, I can't begin to explain how nice it is to be amongst women that are just growing. Mm. You understand, regardless, we, 
not women that are saying I'm a single mother who have excuses of I grew up poor or I don't have money now or I am, you know, I get a lot of people sending me messages saying, I'm a university student, I can't afford it. I was like, I was a university student once. No one gave me a handout. You know, I worked and I love that these women are just there to learn and to implement. And you guys are the real MVPs for me this year. You have closed my year in such a wonderful, marvelous, special way. Oh, that's beautiful. That's nice. Because yeah. even the rest of us who are seeing, like, those people and their, yeah. I don't know, their experiences and how yeah. they've grown, it's really inspiring yeah, for the rest of us as well. You're like, I'm one yeah. of them. I anyway, made, I made <laughs> 7 million out of my shipping class, really. One of the women is here. <laughs> one of the women is here. I'm so, so proud of you, by the way, Prim. I'm so, so proud. I'll be the woman that goes to the comments. Shoo, 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 shoo. I made 7 million out of Claire's yeah. class. So yeah, the women. But yeah, so it's, it's, um, it's such a testament to what you're doing yeah. for the community you it, created. It, it I'm really sure they appreciate give. it. Like it's doing a lot for them. Yeah. The way it's serving you, it's serving them just as much. So yeah. shout out to you, Thank you. for doing all the stuff yeah. you're doing. It's amazing. Yeah. Um, actually, because you've talked, to, talked about people, You've reminded me of um, also some of the people I'm grateful for this year, but there are so many. Yeah. But I'm in a the people who have come to mind right now because we are here on our show mm. are um, Georgie and Ivy for yeah. extending themselves in the way they did. Like, you guys don't know all that you guys don't understand. <laughs> But those two people extended themselves beyond what they needed to. Mm. They didn't need to do all those things. Really but they just went over and above and moved yeah. around schedules mm. and did all mm. these things. And like, thank you for... They have no heirs. They could have them because they are big. <laughs> They've established like yeah. big, big brands. Big brands like continental like, brands. But they just like, the humility, um, the friendship you guys have shown mm. us. Thank you very much, Georgie and Ivy. It was just... Like, I don't even know. Actually, now it even makes me think of Murugi, our first year, when Murugi. we didn't know anybody. Yeah. Like, Murugi who are we? introduced us to, to come here. Lydia. Yeah. Like, who, <laughs> who are we for her to come here? Yeah. But here she was. Yeah. We've just we've experienced a lot of kindness mm, we have. in the creator space. We really have. Thank you very much, you guys. All the creators who come and attend our events. You guys who come. Back. Like, as in, we want to be doing this for two years. Show, yeah. Not even two years. It's one and a half. Mm. Yeah, not two so years. Like, I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's such a huge oh, audience, yeah. thing and it wouldn't have been anything lane. without you guys. So thank you so much. You humble us constantly. So <laughs> like constantly. Yeah. These things where people meet you and they know you and you're like, so where did you find me? Yeah. And it's you guys who have helped us build this whole platform. Thing, I pray yeah. that God gives us the grace to just like serve keep you creating yeah. and serve you. Yeah, like give you something worthwhile mm. um, for the duration of this show. So thank you. Yeah, you've been you're one of our favorite things. Yeah, for sure. That's true. That's true. Um, obviously, I think for me this year, I'm really grateful for friendships. Mm. Like, really, really, really good friendships. Uh, I was talking to my friend Sheila last night. Nduhuche, shout out. And we were talking about, I don't know, like her moving and stuff. And do you know when you talk, when, you, when someone calls you and your heart just immediately warms up, eh? like, mm. like you pick up and... Like my mind, as I'm talking to her, thinks back at all the times she's shown up for me yeah. in all the ways she has loved me. You understand? And I've, I recognize that that's something that's happening a lot lately with my friends. Like someone I just received a phone call and the bra it's like the brain downloads mm. of this person, this person, this person. And most times when they say, when they ask, are you able to do this? I'm just like... Are you kidding? Where, when, what time? What, 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 how do I show up? What do I do? So I'm really grateful for my friends. I'm grateful to each and every one of my friends. Um, I, don't think, I, I, don't, I don't think I've been, I don't know. I, I, am, I don't know. I, I've not, you've really, they've, they've expressed their love for me. They, yeah. I've seen it and I've felt it. And I am grateful to know you. Mm. I'm grateful for yeah. my friends. Yeah. Aww, we love you. Mm. <laughs> I'm really grateful for my you. friends. <laughs> um, I remember there's a time frame we sat down together recently. You remember? And you talked me, you talked me, I don't even know if you realize, but you talked me off an edge. I don't think you realized, but you really did talk me off an edge. Like, you made me realize so much. I don't think. I know you don't know. I don't even know. Yeah, I don't even I don't know. know. I, don't, I, don't I know you don't know what happened, but they, the, I think that's the beauty of being able to be vulnerable, yeah. you know, with, with friendships. And so, yeah, we love you also. We do. <laughs> we truly do. Um, my next one is Me Time by Sheens. Now, again, we all have different brands we work with, mm. uh, not work with, that has worked for us, generally speaking. Yeah. And for me, Me Time has been 
that brand. I discovered them this year. Mm. Single, I have not bought a single other product again. I understand what you're you saying. Know? <laughs> and um, it, they made me believe in Ugandan products. Mm -hmm. And for me, that's very, very special. To say, you know, and it smells so nice as well, but it's also really soft on the skin, but also quite hydrating. Mm. I have extremely dry skin. Mm. Extremely, extremely dry skin. Same, same. Like, uh, you know, for me to shine over, mm. like, me time by shins have made, has made me shine. <laughs> Soaked in, My, in oil? Just deep fried. <laughs> deep fried. <laughs> right. Marinated. Um, so, me time by shins, Shina and Amanda, they are the proprietors of... Me time by Sheens. Thank you for giving us such a beautiful yeah, product. Products, Thank you yeah. for giving me such a beautiful product. They've also worked with me. This is not sponsored, yeah. but they've worked for me in the past, and mm. that's how I got to know I've them. I've also used their oil I before. Had, it's yeah, really it's dope. really, really, really good. They, they yeah. have like their consistency oil. is mm. good. Mm. I prefer their body balm. I like mm. their oil for my hands, but I love their I body balm. I had not balm. experienced it until this morning, actually. Mm. The, it so slides really nicely. It mm. really soft. does. Very small, soft. And for me, you know, I have very, um, what is the feet that are a bit hard mm -hmm. and they from walking into people's business <laughs> it's hard and it's hard jumping work into conclusion it's hard <laughs> work friend. jumping to conclusion it is really it's hard, hard making work. your feet hard so um <laughs> and unless i get a proper professional scrub mm. yeah but there are times you can't go. You don't have time. So if it's three weeks, say, friends, <laughs> my bed sheets are in trouble. I remember. So me dry. Time, dry. <laughs> There's a time I just said dating boo boo. And I remember, not just, I, I remember, no, after that, like the lockdown. Mm -hmm. So there's a time I slept at his place and I kept, you know how you move around on the bed <laughs> and you, there's a cavera. Like, Does this man pee on the bed? Is he layering his bed? I don't know. I move, I look for the cavera. I get off the bed, the cover is I come back to the bed, they, there's a cover. Mm. Friends, was it my bed sheet? Was it my feet that were scratching the bed? <laughs> you know that cover? Yes! yes. yes. They, yes. they have, they have that yes. thorny feel. They have so, a thorny yes. feel. Yes, when it was, was my feet. Right it was well. my feet. <laughs> if there's one thing, because I've honestly never had that issue. Every, because you're always, no, no, always no, you're not right. always walking, so, walking out of relationships. So, because guys, who is single here? So as you're talking about <laughs> walking out of relationships, <laughs> anyway. But the point is, you no, know, that the um, dry feet, uh, a practice which I know has been one of the reasons why I've never, ever, ever had mm. dry feet in my whole entire life, is Vaseline and socks. Socks. Vaseline and socks. I know. So, always you know, socks at your house light. So when I, my feet, and I've shared this, you guys, feet are a, a thing for me. Feet are a thing for me. <laughs> so when my feet are not nice, I feel literally icky, you know. Hey. But there's sometimes when I really can't make it to the salon yeah, to get my feet scrubbed. So me and Bashin, the first mm -hmm. time I, I, work, I worked with them, they were mm -hmm. like, Ja every day, mm. just put for a few days. Mm. I swear to God, within three or four days, mm. I like my feet were no longer mm. Mm. these days. Consistency, yeah? consistency. They were no longer tearing. They're not tearing. Really consistency. Bed sheets. So me time by sheets. Thank you for being a brand, a Ugandan brand that really does what you say you do. Yeah. I love it. We love to see it. Actually, now that you're in Ugandan brands, let me list all my Ugandan brands which are here because I'm not going to leave anyone out. Number one, Nail Pro. <laughs> Thank you so much. I feel like Brenda. Man, that has, she cares. You guys, yeah, I didn't people know do nails. That you can nurture nails. I didn't know you but could nurture nails. I didn't know you could nurture nails. Nurture. You know, most times it's, it's hair. It's hair that we care about. Of you have your guy who has seen you. That chick nurtures nails. It's nurturing. Thank you for giving us the right That one. chick nurtures nails. She has put in so much effort into just like learning this. Yeah. You guys, you guys, you're it's not just visit. a business for uh, her. It's I so remember likely my that she'll open for you a book and start telling you about Oba. Well, she has a textbook there in her <laughs> shop. She'll start telling you about that chick. What? I remember the first time I met her. And she said where she opened her salon. Yeah. She's like, she was not receiving. She's like, I wasn't receiving real nail care. Yeah, like what she... She's like, it was missing. Yeah. Can you imagine in such a saturated market, there's still a problem you can solve. There's a gap. There's a gap. Right. It was, she, honestly, she has filled and the gap. And you guys, it's not an know. ad because I don't even go to her salon. Mm, I've also go gone only once. Yeah. I've gone once and I, I enjoyed it. Just out of town. I've if been it was nearby, I'd go yeah. back. I've been she a few really times, but I saw what she did with Dickie's nails. Dickie's nails had an infection. They had broken. What? 
when DK showed me her, her nails sometime, I was like, no, you, you must be kidding. It's honestly like a consistent, like, oh. when I tell you I'm not a person who puts on cuticle oil, mm. as whomst, mm. <laughs> I am not a person who puts on cuticle oil and is serious and You think when someone asks for like, a recommendation for nails, I will be nail like, nail, even just if like you have a problem, whole, go like to her. environment, yeah. Yeah. you're not in some cascades place, you're just there with mm, fresh yeah, air blowing yeah, you. Yeah. The service is honestly, and they are honest in effort. with ingrown, I remember they, they had removed an ingrown for me, that mm. was, they did it so well, I was like, okay, I'll keep coming back yeah and she's like no we recommend that, that you go to hospital mm. it's like the time someone comes here with a very bad ingon and be like we'll not work on this mm. sometimes if you have a nail infection they'll be like this one needs to be treated by a dermatologist or by a by generally doctor. hospital then yeah. we can continue from mm. what with they've the recommended yeah. and i'm mm. like which which nail person which nail person, person? they so call her like a ah, nail out there yes. and yes. They're so honest they make they're you feel safe as well, good, you know it's a good it's a really place really that good. you build thank you so much for mm. investing mm. her and then um also a number of people have dressed me this year <laughs> you guys know i stay in real africa transitioning <laughs> rebel africa who actually dressed me today as well um thrift galore she has i, I love to see how dk has enjoyed oh, thrift galore dk looks nice Plant she's given her such and she nice has, dresses. They yeah. are together now. They're yeah. like this. They're a team. I may even be forgetting other people, but there, there's so many people who have dressed me and I've loved wearing your clothes. Mm. I've enjoyed it. And also a big shout out to Grace and Cynthia. They are Zumba instructors. Mm. I don't know how to explain to you what Zumba does for me. It's my disco. I keep saying it's my disco. You just go and like, shake your booty. When things are tough, I'm like, at this time, I'm going to leave this house and go and do my Zumba. Mm. And it's been just once a week. But... Mm. <laughs> You guys, me the energy it gives me. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if you're a person who is struggling with working out and you like to dance, go and dance. Just go and dance at one day a week and thank me later. Thank you for yeah. just creating like a happy space. So really, we keep saying with my another friend of mine who I found there, and she was like, when I'm coming, I leave my problems at the door. I'm like you just uh, yeah, and then yeah. I always first like offload all my stuff yeah. and leave it outside, and then I go in there and I just sweat mm. and like we're always laughing. We mm. always live like with our cheeks hurting because yeah. we're laughing. And Grace is so. Man, you guys, Grace is, I keep saying because, man, she, I mean, Grace is 62 mm. years old. Mm. Wow. She has so much vitality, mm. energy. First, even leave her body, which is, of course, banging. Amazing. Mm. But she is energetic. It's mm. like, she's like us. I don't see how, mm. whatever we are doing, she's doing it with us. In mm. fact, she's doing it better. Mm. And I'm like, that's the vitality I'm you looking want. for in this life. I want that youthful energy. You can just take vital milk. Uh, uh, please, <laughs> leave me, please. You need the Zumba. <laughs> no, but like, shout out to you guys for just creating a happy happy vibrant space mm. and i love that it's mostly just women mm. once in a while you may see like one man or two and shout out to those men by the way but it's you just be there if it's time for removing tops we throw the mm. tops those ends and dance i love it shout out to you guys yeah that'll be no, my I last think, one uh, my last one is obviously our team claret and retro yeah Ooh. you guys thank you so much you are part of our glow and and it's amazing that like i keep saying it's amazing that we've started we said this journey together and, and we're still, we are still together yeah. nothing like oh yeah, yeah we fell out this one said this this one did that no no no. i'm grateful that when we come together actually mm. uh you know when we're shooting and all those guys are here there's the whole a moment of catch up so you have you been uh you have you been you know like people just like share it's just beyond even work there's so much respect there yeah. there's so much health relationships there so thank you so much for being part of our team Rachel and Claret yeah. our makeup makeup artists yeah so you people in your last ones I have four more <laughs> please I'll just point them let's point you here <laughs> I'll bullet point them so the first one okay that's one thing I really 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 experienced and loved this year was the skies Kampala skies Easter brunch mm -hmm. friends you have not eaten food if you have not eaten that brunch Kampala skies food is really mm. generally good mm. really really tasty I, I, they I have put their so much into their mm -hmm. buffet, everything the breakfast buffet friends yeah first this is on steroids mm. like on super mm. super double pro max steroids mm. yeah the Easter brunch mm. I remember actually talking to you and Philip and even Philip mm. was like and Philip is picky Mm. He was like, oh my God, if you can, if they have a Christmas one, run. If they have another oh, Easter one like next year, run. Mm. These guys make amazing food. Mm. And that's saying something. And also just cause, because they've partnered with us in so many ways. Yeah. I feel like ugh, they've also been one of sure. our favorite yeah. people. Yeah. They've, they've given us a space where many people weren't willing to. Give so yeah. we appreciate you, Kampala Skies. Thank we you for like, believing in our thing yeah. and giving us room to just like... Create. Ooh, like to just create. Yeah. So yeah. thank you. Thank you, Skies. Um, the next one is Walker Studios. Oh, yeah. Ooh. I just feel like this space has been created for 
creators. Creative, yeah. creators. Yeah. And it gives us a space where we can come and not worry mm. about things we Because we are creatives, we're not mm. videographers. Mm. Mm. Do you understand? We're creatives, we're not lighting mm. people. We don't, we're not yeah. good at... There's so much we're not mm. good at as creatives. And I feel like Walker has given us a space so that mm. we yeah. can go collaborate with other creators mm. and make some really, really great content. So mm. personally, I've enjoyed Walker this year. And then the next one is... I'd like to shout out my staff at Blue Moon International School. Mm. These ladies have been amazing. Mm. Like, they have grown. They have really, mm. really carried my vision. They have, you know, I... I uh, I've seen them grow mm. and I've seen them carry the vision mm. over and it's amazing. I really, really love it. Mm. I, anyone that works for me, even if you are a bit timid in the mm. beginning, mm -hmm. I love, com I've grown, a, I've grown a confident mm. team mm. at the school. We love you guys. We really, really care for you mm. and we love, we appreciate that you work for mm. us and all the effort you put into um, Blue Moon International School. And lastly, lastly, but not listly, <laughs> but not listly is... Mm -hmm. Uh, shop nail pro now this is a, a product that is from rwanda oh mm -hmm. so, oh, yeah called nail pro yeah no sorry what? not shop not nail pro cast. shop nail cast, cast. Mm. shop nail cast is a product their nails stick on nails mm -hmm. that i wear um my nails refused everything else i mm. don't know why mm. my nails just jam mm. and i was spending so much money on my nails because mm. they have to look nice i got my father's nails mm. they looked nice on him but for me on me they don't look nice i'm a woman mm. But I have men's hands, men's fingers. Anyway, so Shop Nail Cast has really, really, like, when I discovered them, they sent me their product. They last three, four mm, weeks. Yeah. But I, in fact, I'm the one who's taking them off because I'm tired. Well, I need the next one. Yeah. I really, and they, they have really worked in my budget. Mm. I love them. They're really, you know, they do the, any design and they stick on and they don't hurt, they don't damage my nails. They don't mm -hmm. make my nails soft. The, the the products they use are really, really, the glue they use is really, mm. really good. So, Shop Nail Cast, shout out to you. Thank you for making my nails look pretty like I'm a woman. I'm just like I am a man. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, man, guys, so this is, this is pretty much the end of this episode. We yeah. really do have lots of favorites. One more. I appreciate you girls. I appreciate you too. I think <laughs> you guys are part of the best thing of this about this year. And... I really love you. I love you too. Much, yeah. Are you seeing Prim how she is? She's those people. She's who just like, why so much? Why? She's like, <laughs> she's like, back up, guys. I love you, but leave me alone. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for joining us, guys, for this episode. Let us know what your favorite things are. I think we can leave some links yeah. for some of the stuff we plugged if you're interested. Mm -hmm. There's some really good stuff in there. And um, wait, there was one thing I wanted to say at the end that I can't remember. Maybe it will come in the next episode. But thank you for joining us for yet another episode. Happy holidays. Happy from holidays. Us. Yeah. to you and um, we'll see you next time subscribe subscribe that can be your gift to us this year oh and check out walker studios where we're shooting this beautiful episode from yeah all right bye guys bye